Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I'm going to open up some more posts. As you can see, I've got a letter. Look at my name. This is so cool. This is from the Seven Point Singleton crew. I'm really looking forward to opening this from France. And I got this package, which is kind of related to this dude. But um, you know what? More about him later. I'm going to start with opening up this letter. Let's have a look. Um, let's go. I'm using my new setup, so it's kind of getting used to. And I believe there's a really cool altered card in here from the Seven Point Singleton crew. In case you're not familiar with Seven Point Singleton, I'll put a link to their Facebook group um, in the description down below so you can join. They have a monthly tournament and you can join that for free. Oh, look at that. We got some salad tape going and we see a white card here. I believe it's a super cool altar. Let's just, let's just rip it open, shall we? I don't believe this is a letter. At least I hope not. Nope, it's not a letter. No, it's not. And look at this card, how cool. So this is the French Benelli Shiro, and obviously you can see the subtle altar on the card. I think it's super cool. Now we're gonna try to uh, open this up so I can show it to you from close by. There we go. I'm getting better at this, people. Getting better at opening these cards and top loaders and stuff. Look at that. I think it's really cool. They added the hair. And actually, if you look at the original art, um, you can see that she actually does have long hair. You can see a little ponytail here at the back, um, but it's super cool. A 1-1 one -one bander, but of course, it's all about the altar. So thank you very much. And um, remember, if you think Seven Point Singleton is something that you're curious about, check out the uh, description below because there is a link to their Facebook group. It's free to join. It's free to join their tournaments. I believe they also allow proxies. So it's just really an, an open community. So if you want to join it, have a look. They have a tournament every month. So now I'm going to open up a pack here that is related to this Timmy, this little Timmy. Let me put this at the side. And um, I ordered this online here from a site called Marktplatz. It's a Dutch trading website. Let's have a look. And I just, you know, usually I don't buy any Timmy related things because I think it's way cooler if people just, you know, send it to me or give it to me. And most Timmies that I own are actually given to me by the community, which of course is fantastic. So, you know, I kind of want to keep that going. But this thing, I thought, you know what, it's, it's, this is a chance to get it here in the Netherlands. I'm just going to buy it. Let's see if I can open it up. Here we go. Let me know, by the way, in the comments if you like this angle better for my uh, videos. So it is in here. It is still uh, mint in box, I guess. And I actually want to keep it mint in box. Usually I open everything up, but in this case, I want to keep it in box. And um, there we go. open this up as well oh you added a magic card in here also that's cool it's got to be a Tim right yeah so this is a nice revised Tim really good condition and nice I like the uh, rainbow unicorn uh, sleeve that's pretty cool nice well nice to add that to it so we're gonna put that there and here it is so this is the action figurine of Timmy the Sorcerer still in box which is pretty cool. So a collectible miniature by Magic the Gathering. Let's have a look. Magic the Gathering produced by Wizards of the Coast. Douglas Schuler, that's of course the illustrator of the, uh, the Tim 1993. 
So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And how is this connected with the uh, figurine I showed? Where is it? Oh, here it is. This is the same, but then painted. And I got this from Dan, um, who played at Urtz's Chalice, and I believe he won it there. Yeah, the Battle of Alamo, that's it. Sorry guys, not Urtz's Chalice, the Battle of Alamo, of course, in Texas, 2020. And there's actually a mail day video of that, and I still have this one. I love it, I love it, I love it. But then I saw the opportunity to buy it in box, and I wanted to have both of them to kind of compare them with each other. This is actually another figurine, or no, or is it the same? And this one was um, glued on top of this. That's probably what happened. But yeah, really cool to have both. Again, uh, if you haven't seen that video, it's it's a pretty old mail day video, uh, but I love the fact uh, that Dan sent it to me all the way from the States. So you can check that out if you click on the info card. And uh, like I said earlier, if you're into or curious about Singleton, check out the description below because there is a link to their Facebook group. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ich kann das Ficketes Sommer gesehen.